Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about Ignite announcement that has been happened for Power Automate. In my earlier episode, I discussed about the Power Apps announcement for Microsoft Ignite. So in future as well, if I prepare another office product announcement that has been happened for Ignite, I have created the entire playlist. The links are available in the description box. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me over there. The Insta and Twitter ID is available here. So without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about Power Automate announcement at Ignite. The first important announcement at Ignite in Power Automate is around AI Builder. Now you can bring your own model to the AI Builder. This feature is called as BYOM in short form. Now what do we mean by that? Let's see. Earlier what happened here is we have limited set of AI model available in the AI Builder. Those all models are out of the box model provided by Microsoft. The AI technology is changing rapidly nowadays. Every day data scientists are creating different model. They are using different languages in order to build those AI models. They use any framework or any tooling and can be hosted at any cloud. Now you can bring your own model in Power Platform AI Builder by registering it. Once you register that into your Power Platform AI Builder, the organization can give access to sophisticated AI model within the low-code development environment of Power Platform so all the users or developers can access those models to define their critical business processes. With BYOM, the Power Platform makers can create even richer, unique and sophisticated business processes to ensure mission critical outcomes are done effectively and efficiently. So this is one of my favorite announcement that has been happened. Second important announcement is around using the AI in Power Apps with PowerFX. Now what do we mean by that feature? Let's see. Until now, the only way you could use the AI in Power Apps was through the five AI builder controls. But it is the limited way to customize the AI control. Now it is easier than ever to add the intelligence to Power App directly through PowerFX. This gives us the access to all pre-trained and custom AI models and can be used with any type of control in Power Apps. So this is very important thing because earlier you must have to add those AI builder control. Now you can write your Power FX formula on any of control in Power Apps. So this is really cool and this will be available very soon later on this month. So this is also one of my favorite one. The third important announcement is also the exciting one which is image classification with LOB. This will be available as a preview later on this month but let's see what it offers. So first of all the question arises in our mind that what do we mean by LOB. So LOB is a free easy to use app from Microsoft that helps us to build the image classification model on our desktop computer. All we need to do is we need to add and label the images and LOB will automatically train a custom machine learning model for us. Isn't that cool? And once your model is created, you can easily upload your AI model from LOB directly into AI Builder to use in Power Apps and Power Automate. So this is really cool. The fourth important announcement is around the capability of form processing. Some of the feature has been enhanced over here. Let's see which are those features. So the first one is that now user can extract the information from tagged checkboxes like this. This is the one of the most requested feature from the user. Now we can achieve that. 
Second important announcement that has been happened around form processing is enhanced table tagging experience with new grid tagging capability. Now, which are the features that has been provided here? Let's see. Now, over here, it is providing us advanced tagging mode by adding rows, defining columns, assigning headers, and setting table as a preview. Also, it is something which is also supported with multi-page tables. So you can see here we define columns and now let's say we just wanted to ignore first row and clicking on done and we can easily preview this table and it is also supporting with multi-page tables. Also one more important thing form processing now accept document in 73 languages. So this is also really cool. Now let's talk about the another important announcement is around AI Builder Starter Capacity. Today what happened here is if you want to use AI Builder Capability, basically we need to activate a free trial and that capability is available only to that specific environment. So we need a dedicated AI Builder Capacity. Now to make it more easier, Microsoft has added 250 credit for Power Apps per app license and 500 credit for Power Apps per user license. And this credit can be viewable from Power Platform Admin Center and currently it must be assigned to an environment before it can be used. In the December, this process will become more smoother and seamless and all the non-assigned credit will be consumable from any environment, I am saying any environment without any admin action required meaning you can more easily start adding intelligence to your solution now seventh important announcement is around discovering the new insight with process mining in process advisor now with the preview of process mining in process advisor you can leverage your business data to produce analytics and detailed process maps gleaning the new insights into way to optimize the business processes. The eighth important announcement is around admin capability to define the DLP policies for desktop flow with the restriction. So now as an admin, you can create your own DLP policies to use desktop flows on your devices. So these are top eight announcement that has been happened for Power Automate. Tell me which is your favorite one and stay tuned in my upcoming videos for Power Virtual Agents and Power BI Ignite announcement. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Don't forget to subscribe my other channel which is Digital Dhruvin where I am uploading short content on Power Platform. Also, if you are looking for consultancy, please visit my website and send the contact detail. If you are interested to follow me on other social media handles, the link is available here. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to never miss any updates from me. Also, if you are interested for only audio podcast, this is the dedicated podcast channel which you can utilize. With this, this is Ruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.